Now we'll go through the various components that are installed in the center aft bilge compartment. You'll see the mercury fuel filters mounted on the bulkhead at the front of this compartment. There's an isolation valve with each one that allows you to shut off the flow of fuel if you're changing the filters. Beneath that, you'll see a seacock with a raw water strainer that provides water to the air conditioning pump that is mounted in the far port area of this compartment. You'll access that by getting into the bilge compartment and looking over to the port side to find the air conditioning pump. In the aft section of this bilge compartment, we have two automatic bilge pumps with their float switches and two bait well pumps that provide aerated water to the bait wells that are on the port and starboard corners of the stern of the boat. On the bulkhead, in the area that goes into the back of this compartment, you'll see two pop-out breakers. They have little red buttons on them. These are trim tab breakers. They're high amp breakers that allow you to reset them by simply pushing the flag up into the housing if the breaker should pop itself. Trim tab pumps are located in here. Their circuits are protected by these breakers that I just mentioned. Also included on the port side of this center aft bilge compartment, you'll see adjacent to the air conditioning pump, the raw water pump. This is what supplies water to the raw water washdown that's under the gunnel on the starboard side. Something to note is that if you're ever changing the gas filters and get any fuel in the bilge, you'll want to be able to soak that fuel up with some kind of a, an absorbent mat. You don't want to discharge it over the side, and you also don't want to have any fumes in the bilge. If there's raw gas in the bilge, that would signal fumes. Gasoline's a very volatile substance, and if any of it gets in the bilge, you must soak it up right away. Safety first, please.